hi guys welcome back and if you're new here welcome my name is Keisha I do beauty videos reviews and hauls if that's something that you're interested in I would really love it if you hit the red subscribe button right below this video and while you're there go ahead and turn on that little bell that's just gonna make sure as soon as I post a video you're the first to know now let's get into this video so as you guys can tell by the title today I'm going to be trying out the urban decay um, foundation I picked mine up from Safara sometimes you can't really trust the swatches online just rather go in stores so I picked up mine at the 34th Street in New York and it was $39 and then the tax was $3.46 so a total of $42.46 so it's not high high and like the last foundation that I think I review which was the Pat McGrath foundation and it's not like a drugstore foundation I was looking at 71 WY because I know I wanted WY because I wanted the yellow undertone and I think I was also looking at 70 or 72 I'm not really sure but the souls associate um, said you know I should go with 71 because I'm always going to be able to lighten it up if I need to with concealer so this is the packaging right here guys This is how the foundation looks out of the package. So as you can see, it has like a little um, dip right here, which is very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen any foundation with this type of packaging. It's really nice, really sleek. You are going to get fingerprints all over the top though, which is okay because you can easily get it off. And even if you get foundation, you can wipe it off. So I kind of prefer this type of cap where it doesn't really stain. This is not glass, it's kind of like a hard plastic. This is also hard plastic, which is okay. It just means if you drop it, you're not gonna break it. So, so this is a little nozzle right here, which is really nice. So this is how it looks in the bottle. It doesn't look that bad. Look like it might be my shade, but sometimes you really can't tell by the bottle. So it has 52 shades, focus on nine intensities, three master tones and seven undertones. It's a stay naked weightless liquid foundation, makes it easy to match your true undertone. The first vegan breathable longwear formula to last up to 24 hours. Stay naked has buildable medium coverage with a real skin matte finish. So that's what they're claiming for the foundation. So we're going to see, I'm an oily girl, so I want to see how matte it's going to stay on my skin. I'm not going to use a primer and I'm not going to put any powder on my face beforehand. I'm not going to do anything to really affect how the foundation is going to wear. I'm not even going to use primer. I am going to use my moisturizer. I did moisturize my skin before, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit more. You can never have too much moisturizer. Even though you have oily skin, you still need to moisturize your skin. That's pretty much all I'm going to put on my skin. And then now we're just going to go into the foundation. So I'm going to be using my Real Technique Insta Pop Cheek Brush, one of my favorite foundation brush. Definitely check it out if you want a nice, flawless ear brush type of look. I'm going to link it at my Amazon store. And I'm also going to try and see how it looks with my sponge. I'm not a typical sponge user for um, foundation, but just in case someone out there wants to see, I'm going to give it a nice little shake. So that's one pump. It's like a good shade match for me. And you can see the yellow undertone and it is running. So you can see that it's running down. One pump is not going to do, but I'm going to try to see how far one pump goes on one side of my face. Because as you can see, I don't really have that much to cover right now. My skin is doing really good. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but you guys know I rather go darker my foundation because I go really light sometimes with my with my uh, with my concealer. So I don't mind. So, so this is one side of my face, and this is the other side. Like if I look straight on, you can see 
a little bit more tan on this side of my face, which I like. I still have some more. So that one pump spread pretty far. It didn't do my forehead, but it pretty much did the whole side of my face here. So I'm just going to take one more pump for my forehead. Whatever is left over, I'm just going to go over the rest of this side. It's a really pretty foundation. It kind of reminds me of the Path McGrath foundation. It's just more coverage though. But it kind of feels the same way where it's so, so light. Like you don't even feel like you have anything on. So there it is, guys. I think it's the perfect match, actually. I don't think I would want any other shade. I think this is perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and try the other side with my sponge. I did damp it a little bit. Not too much because I don't want it to soak up too much of the foundation. Now that I know I need two pump, I'm just going to go in with two pump on this side. It goes on really nicely with the sponge as well. So whichever you want to use. So this is the side with the sponge. It didn't cover as much, of course, because it's a sponge. It didn't really soak up too much of the foundation either. But the two layer with the brush is much nicer. It has a much glowy effect going on. So I definitely rather this side. So I'm just going to go over this side with one more pump. And I'm going to use my brush. And I told you guys, this brush is definitely the plug. Like, you're not going to be disappointed with this brush. This is really nice. I love it. So this is the full face of the foundation. So in total, I'm using five pump, two pumps on this side and then three pumps on this side. And as you guys saw, the only reason why I did three on this side, because I didn't really like the finish of the sponge brush is definitely the way to go for me with this foundation and pretty much on my foundation. As I said, I'm pretty much a brush girl so this foundation is looking really nice and glowy very very weightless very breathable as they said in the description just like blown away so far so this is the foundation up close as you can see none of my hyperpigmentation or acne scarring is showing up whatsoever the foundation looks so beautiful as well guys i really like that the knob is protruding out so it really doesn't get the bottle messy the foundation just stays on that little nozzle which is really easy to wipe off and it opens and closes really easy you don't have to fuss with it too much so it's a pretty convenient and i want to say um travel friendly i really do love the packaging i probably will just speed up this part because i don't want the video to be too long and i know sometimes a lot of you guys want to see the full makeup look of how you know the foundation changes from this to the finished result so i am going to just speed that up i know they also came out with a concealer but I didn't think I really need the concealer, so that's why I didn't pick it up. So I'm going to use my Anastasia palette. This is their contour kit. It's going to bronze and contour at the same time. Now I'm going to go ahead and set, and I'm using my favorite under eye setting powder, which is a Huda Beauty setting powder, and this one is in Kunafa. So now we're going to move on to highlighting. I'm not going to OD on my highlight like I typically do. Um, this is Jared Cosmetics Marilyn. And of course, we can't forget about the shoulders. See how that collarbone is just popping. This is a finished look, guys. The skin looks really, really pretty. So far, the claims breathable, check. Lightweight, check. Matte finish, check. I'm going to come in a little bit closer. So this is the before. So I'm starting a little bit late. It's now 416, but never mind. We are going to try and go up to eight hour wear test. Okay, guys, so I was just about to go to bed and then I remembered like, wait a minute, you have on makeup and you have a video that you need to finish. That's how 
weightless this makeup is that's how light and comfortable it is 11 15 right now if not eight hours pretty much eight hours a few minutes is not gonna make that much of a difference so this is how the makeup look guys and i think this is the best eight hour makeup look that i've done in a long time if not the best like this makeup look like it could go for another four or five hours just a little bit of shine coming through my t-zone area here and you guys know i have oily skin my highlight still there looks fresh my bronze era the foundation just sits so nicely on my skin nothing has budge as you can see it did not emphasize my pores it did not break up in my smile lines no complaints whatsoever so definitely a keeper i'd love to know what you guys think of the foundation plan to pick it up or if you have already picked it up please go ahead like this video share it with your friends and family and if you're not already subscribed i would love it if you go ahead hit the red subscribe button right below this video and turn on that little bell beside the word that says subscribe that's just going to make sure that as soon as i post a video you're the first to know bye guys